Well, somebody had to write up a plan, <laughs> and and with the, with the, the help of uh, other air pollution and water ecosystem people, we undertook to develop a plan to establish an, a permanent network to measure spatial and temporal trends in the chemistry of of precipitation in as many parts of this country as we could. And we we were working in North Carolina. So we started in North Carolina, and Walter Heck and uh, Art and uh, Lawrence Apple were among the people who encouraged me to write up a plan, and we did that. And Mr. J. C. Williamson was the director of our uh, agricultural research service here at North Carolina State. And he was aware of the of a requirement of the Hatch Act, which supports much of the agricultural research in our state and all across the country. He thought a quarter of the funds were required in the Hatch Act itself to be used for regional projects of interest to more than one institution. And he believed that regional should include national. We were proposing a national network. It would measure precipitation chemistry uh, in all the different states and in all the different regions of our country with all the different kinds of, of uh, atmospherically relevant activities which were going on, power plants, uh, agricultural operations, uh, hog farming. Uh, uh, Jim Galloway, one of our guy, guys, he, he was always very proud that uh, he had the name Galloway and there was a special breed of of beef that uh, was a, or Galloway beef and so anyway it was fun to look at animal contributions to atmospheric chemistry and human contributions there's a pneumonia anomaly over every city of the world there's a pneumonia anomaly over every barn that houses any animals either so anyway those are among the things that were interesting Jim Galloway was crucially important, and uh, uh, the cooperation, the interest that he took, and he was a colleague of Jane Likens, who also had become inspired, uh, and he had visited with Svanta Odin, and another Canadian scientist also, and within about a six-month period, all three of us came to be inspired by the recommendation that came out of this first International Symposium on on Acid Precipitation and Forest Ecosystems. And uh, so we, in, each in our own way, began. I was assigned uh, by Waltec and uh, Lawrence Apple to develop a proposal for a regional project which could was first accepted in the north central region of our country. And then it later grew to be an inter-regional project and eventually all four regions of the country joined together to make uh, what is now NADP. Uh, the proposal which I crafted uh, was deficient in many ways. Uh, it was considered to be deficient in many ways, but had some very good ideas, and those ideas were placed before an interagency task force that evaluated the adequacy of what we had written down and uh, it was consistent with Mr. Williamson's idea that regional meant really national as well. And so eventually that inter-regional, an, uh, an inter-regional project, but it began in the North Central region, spread to an inter-regional one, and is now the National Atmospheric Deposition Program. Our proposal was put forward in the form of NC, North Central Regional Project Number 141, and that proposal was evaluated by the National Science Foundation, by the Department of Energy, and uh, the U.S. Geological Survey, by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and all of them saw the merit of the idea 
of having a long-term record of changes in precipitation chemistry across time and space uh, in the country. So that process really began in, the, in, in response to Odin's original presentations, which were made in the very early parts, 1970, 72, and the International Conference was held in 1975, and but by 1978, three years later, after many uh, consultative groups said, this idea is on the right track. We ought to do this, and we ought to involve scientists, agricultural science, forest scientists, limnologists, people who study lakes, fish biologists. We all ought to join together in supporting a developing a background of information about changes in precipitation chemistry. We were studying the chemical climate of the earth, at least in, in the United States. There was a, contempt, uh, a similar problem in our program in Canada, which developed earlier, and we immediately seized on the opportunity of working together with the Canadian uh, people who already had a network of some significance and we, we built what is now a, a solid connection between Canadian scientists working in very many different disciplines and uh, U.S. scientists. 